If you are someone who gets a lot of ideas, but you don't know how to actually execute these ideas and get your product out there in the market. Today we are going to test a new AI website builder, which is called Medu.dev. And we are going to give it three different prompts and it will build us three different websites. So if you are not a coder, you don't know what is front end, what is back end, how you connect APIs for payments. If you don't know anything, then this video is for you. We'll be talking about anything and everything which is related to Medu and how you actually can use it from end to end. So we'll start with the first app, which we are going to build anything and everything that comes to your mind, comment down below and then try it out for sure. There is a surprise gift for you at the end of the video. So watch the video till the end so that you actually get that surprise gift. So let's start the video now. I'll share my screen. I've started the screen recording and the first app that we are going to build is a project management tool. It is a SaaS tool you, which you can actually build for businesses and sell it to them. So I have created a prompt for it. I'll copy and paste. So build a modern project management SaaS platform with the following core features, user authentication. It will also add Google auth and email password, multi workspace support with role based access, admin manager member, Kanban board with drag and drop task management, team collaboration, dashboard, anything and everything that you actually use in a project management tool. We are going to talk about that. So th there is first free tier, then there is pro tier, then there is enterprise type integration for subscription user limit based on the project and tech stack. I've also told it with what tech stack we have to use. So this is how I want the monetization UI UX, clean, minimal sidebar navigation, dark mode toggle, mobile responsiveness and toast notification for action. We can all, you can also add images if you have some uh, inspiration which you want to build for. You can also upload files if you have written a PRD, PRD helps mostly. And you can also plug in capabilities. So what all do we want? We want Stripe. Apart from this, what all plugins do we want? Uh, text to speech, text to video. No, we don't want this. AI search is also not required. Weather inquiry is not required. Web page context extraction, web search, global stock price exchange rate. So we only need Stripe. So this is a good part about Medu. You actually get direct plugins that you can integrate in your websites. So it also has a prompt optim optimizer. We have already optimized the prompt, but still we will click on this and improve our prompt. So it has ad added everything, the core objectives, technical stack specifications, detailed further implementation break breakdown and everything. So I'll just click on next and then we will wait. Now it will build the whole platform for us. Then we can even chat with the platform to like improve anything that we see is not working correctly or any new features that we want to add. It is writing the document requirements.md file. It will first add all the requirements, then it will start working. So I think we'll check it. Project management starts SaaS platform, application, SPA, Google OAuth, email and password, security, JWT password, multi workspace system, role based project management, Kanban board, payment integration, real time collaboration, looks good, looks good, looks good. Crazy. Now I'll click on generate app. So the application is being generated. Now it will take some time to generate the application. So one thing that is different about Medu is it uses the concept of agentic AI. Agentic AI is that it creates multiple agents for you and does the task on your behalf. Generally earlier, the co how code generation used to work is it used to generate a block of code as the responses are generated similar to how when you are chatting to chat GPT or chatting with Claude or Gemini, it generates a response in one go. Agentic AI, what it does is it actually iterates through the whole project, iterates through everything that you are asking the agent to do. We'll talk about the pricing later. There is a surprise for you also in the end of the video. So as I have also added the Stripe integration, I actually don't have to go through the APIs of Stripe and integrate it myself. It will take care of that and it will go through the APIs on its own and actually build that code for me. So as we can see, it has completed the project. It started generating, created multiple files and it has added route guard. It has also added multiple other files, created a database API layer. It has also installed all the required packages for drag and drop, installed date FNS package, functions for payment and it's done. I have successfully built a complete project management SaaS platform, requires all features including 
multiple workspaces, Kanban boards, etc. It also telling us you can screenshot directly to annotate. If I click this, if something is not working properly, I can just click on this, screenshot it and tell me do that bhai, this is not working, fix it, right? So now we will test it out. So we'll have to first sign up. I'll click on Nishant. I'll create a password. Okay, it has created the project. I'll just check it out on full screen. Okay, there are subscriptions. If I want to subscribe now, if I click on subscribe, I'll have to connect Stripe first. But yeah, orders, admin panel. This is the admin panel. Then this is my workspace. If I create a workspace, my first project, create workspace. Oh, there is an error in creating workspace. There was an error when I, I'll chat with it, it will then fix it for me. So by the time it is fixing the first error, let's build our second app also. We want to build an AI marketplace where people can generate images. If someone else likes the image, they can actually buy it and we will have some commission from that AI generated image. So I'll just, I've created a prompt for it. I'll paste the prompt. An AI art, art marketplace with built-in generation capabilities. So I don't want to add login and payments as of now. Let's build a basic version and then we'll add payments and other things later on. I'll integrate image generation with this. And is there anything that we need to integrate? Looks good. So there was a policy change that it has updated, but still we are not able to actually create a new workspace. So let's wait. Maybe we will be able to do it. A web-based marketplace platform that combines AI generated image capabilities with art trading systems, allowing user to create AI generated artwork and browse purchase art from other creators. Looks good, looks good. Art management, shopping features, monetization, premium models, MVP scope for initial MVP. The following systems are excluded. User authentication, Stripe payment integration and checkout functionality. Then we will focus on the core gallery and AI generation, which looks good. Uh, we'll click on generate on this as well. So both of them are working simultaneously. So we can also actually check out the code. Here are, here's the code. It has also connected Superbase directly for us. We don't have to connect Superbase. So it did it for us directly. These are all the components that it has created. We can actually look at the code and change the code too. There are some plugins. We have added Stripe plugin for the backend services. So these are all the tables that we have. Publish your first project. Project. If we publish our project, then we will also be able to see all the data analytic features. This is the document and this is our app. It is reading it. Let's wait. Here also the app is currently getting generated. Let's also trigger our third app that we want to build. So in the third app, we want to build a game. It will also test the physics capabilities. If it, it can actually, Medu can actually take care of physics. So here I copied it. So build a single 3D space exploration game with physics simulation. Space control, WASG, so we'll be using WASG, mouse camera control, boost for speed, physics, relative momentum, blah, 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 gravity, etc. Features 3D, solar system with sun, four or five planets, asteroid belt, day night cycle, looks good, tech stack. It is also told tech stack, visual features, controls, good. So there is no login authentication in this one. So it should be comparatively simpler. So we have added this also and it will start building. Too. So it has written the requirements.md for our space exploration game. Looks good to me. We can actually edit it. If we click on edit, we can actually edit this, but we don't want to edit. Looks good. We will just click on generate app. So it will also start generating. This is done. I think no, it's still working. So it was finally able to fix it. Now it has added the RLS policies. Row level security policies. Now I created one. I'll show you second work space and click on create workspace. It has created. I click on this. Now there are project and mem members. I can add more members here. I can create a new project. First project. 
and it also created our first project. When I click on first project, there are the to do's in progress blocked and different tasks. Review the platform. It is high priority, very critical. I have to do it today, which is 31st and assigned to me, created a task and it got created. So it is working amazing. And it actually took me like 15, 20 minutes to build this. And it also has Stripe integration. If I click on this, I'll have to configure my Stripe integration. I, have, I will have to add this Stripe secret key. Unfortunately in India, most people can't. If you already have a Stripe account, then great. Now we will check out the other two apps. Our space exploration game is ready. We'll create new game. Welcome to space exploration 3D. Pilot your spaceship through a vast solar system. Navigate asteroids, fields and dock at space stations. Looks good. Movement controls. We'll have to use WASD. W for forward, S for backward, AD for left, right. Looks good. Rotation and boost for arrow key to rotate your uh, ship. Space bar to boost. Looks good. Fuel management. Fuel we add in the docking station. Start the game. Navigate to the first objective. It is not moving actually. I'll write WASG and space is not working. Only the arrow controls are working. Let's look at the other website. This is also ready. It has built the V1. V1 is ready. There are some images which it has auto generated and added. Nice, nice, looks good. AI generator, here is the AI generator. I'll click on create an image of a boy sitting on his work station, trying out AI tools. I want a anime style website. Cool. That is it. I'll click on generate Oof, image generation failed. Now we'll fix this again the image generation failed i'll add the screenshot as well add to chat send so we were able to fix this this looks really good we can actually publish it now so i want to publish it i'll click on publish i'll publish it on my publish now application publishing in in progress oh it is actually moving i can see the speed and the fuel oh So we have the app, we will add it to the marketplace. Please complete the setup first. Oh, we'll have to actually add the Stripe key. I don't have a Stripe key. So update and publish. It is generating this. And so as you can see, it actually uses agentic AI to fix bugs as well. We were able to fix for our first app and it will also fix for the other two. Now I have confidence because I actually see it working. I'll share link to all three and also me too. So if you sign up now, you get 300 credits. So it took me around 150 credits to build all the three websites. So it actually takes around 50 credits to build a project. If you keep on iterating on that project, it will take you some more credits. If you are a student, you get 100 credits every day for free. So you can actually build a lot of apps. You can actually build a lot of websites and publish them, share it with people and start earning money. So that is also crazy. So as you can see, it also created a mobile view. Looks good. And all the UI elements, the shadows, the gestures, everything looks actually premium. So looks really good. Has it created a homepage? I think it's not, it has not created a homepage. We can ask it to create a homepage too. But yeah, I hope you guys like the video. I'll still continue working on these. When they are ready, I'll add the links to the website. So it has actually completed. We'll try it out once. We'll skip. So if you actually don't know how to code, then this can actually be a really amazing tool. Medu can help you build apps and actually publish your ideas that are stuck on your head. If you want to build any app, any website, you can definitely check out Medu. The link to it is in the description. And as I told you, you also get extra credits if you go through that link. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys like the video. I'll see you in the next one.